You might ask, what's with a hairnet, Maxie? Now, don't tell my wife, but I'm here in the kitchen now and I'm ready to cook up a storm. Could get steamy in here tonight. Thank you so much for coming along to Single Volunteers. Melina Shamroth runs Cooking for a Cause, and you could say she's very single-minded about it. I'm going to get you guys out in the kitchen. I'm going to get you chopping and chatting, mixing and mingling, cracking eggs, cracking jokes. Who knows, you might fall in love, you might meet somebody for friendship, but at the end of the night, we know you walk away from here having made a real difference. How did you come to this? What was the catalyst, the passion? Just over a year ago, I found myself suddenly single and I wasn't really interested in speed dating. I thought there must be like-minded people who are willing to do something to put back into the community. So how do you like your eggs? Um, poached. Okay, cool. <laughs> well, you suggest it. <laughs> right. <laughs> as long as it's not fertilised. <laughs> And the first time I had to beg people to come along. On the night, the atmosphere was absolutely electric and people left there, word of mouth spread, and we've been going every week for nearly, uh, for over a year. A glance around the room and I reckon Melina's got the recipe for romance just right. I don't know, there looks like there's a bit of excitement down in the corner, doesn't there? There's, there's not so much chopping and quite a bit of chatting. And, and being up in the back there, yeah, he's been very, very happy up in that corner. You know what will be really interesting? We'll, we'll check out the tick sheets later and see who's ticked each other. <laughs> Melina's culinary cupid class is part of a labour of love run by Marcus Godino called Fair Share. Every year in Victoria, we throw out about 750,000 tonnes of food. So what we're trying to do is capture some of that and yes. make it into healthy meals. Once it's made, it then goes to over 100 different charities around Melbourne. So soup vans, homeless shelters, crisis centres, support groups for single mums. Well, Marcus, you're certainly doing your fair share, mate. Well, Tangles, your turn to do your share, mate. I was dreading this moment. Keep going, Maxie. Oh, no, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Keep going. <laughs> And all of this food is food that would have gone to landfill. It's all been rescued. It's eggs that are too small, eggs that are too big. <laughs> Some of the vegetables that have come down to this kitchen are better than I buy in my local stores. Why do you call yourself a uh, mad woman? Well, the mad stands for making a difference, so I'm mad, not crazy. I'm in the process of getting my um, marriage celebrants license. I figure if people can meet through a mad woman, they could be married by one. Uh, just a couple more to go. How's that? Well, Max, if you were single, I reckon that'd bowl a maiden over. Long time since I've bowled a maiden over. And speaking of which, time to see how things are heating up in the kitchen. Now, Ben, you look pretty happy down in that corner. I get to chop some pieces of knives around by girls. I'm doing all right. <laughs> Have you, have you seen anything that you like? Uh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Something wrong with my mobile phone. Hey, what's wrong with your mobile phone? It hasn't got your number in it. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, I'm happily married. I should add, this is not an event for attractive men. They're already spoken for. <laughs> Some nights we have the most amazing chemistry in the kitchen. It's incredible. It worked for me. This is David, um, my partner. Who... <laughs> David, congratulations. So you two are an item. We are indeed. <laughs> we, um, we met at one of my events, so I can, I can vouch the system works. Wins, look at that beautiful delivery. What would you expect from an old fast bowler? You put it on a 20 cent piece, Maxie. You never lose it, do you? You just get better. Fantastic jobs. Here are some of the fruits of your labour. Thank you very much. Uh, Here, Max, uh, no, oh. I still haven't got your number. Oh, mate, this is relentless, isn't it? I tell you what, my wife is right. I should stay out of the kitchen for everyone's sake. Maxie, call me. Call me now.